Your time is valuable. That's why you need a Hagee STS application system. Hagee STS products are designed for precision and efficiency, allowing you to make applications all season long with just one machine. Contact your Hagee rep today. Our Weed of the Week is Marsh Elder, and if you've got it in your pastures and shelter belts, you really don't have to do much different than what we've already talked about. 2,4-D actually will take it out pretty well, but in crop ground, corn, soybeans, and wheat, we don't want you to use 2,4-D. Well, no, it's going to be a little bit different weed. I, I look at Marsh Elder very similar to controlling sunflowers. A lot of the same products that control sunflower will control Marsh Elder. As far as identification between the two, Marsh Elder will get big like a sunflower plant will. Obviously, when that sunflower seed head comes out, you can tell the difference. But looking at them even early in the season, Marsh Elder has a smooth stem. Sunflower is going to have some real short, stiff bristles all the way up the stem. All right, real quick, control in corn pre and post. In corn, none of the pre's are going to work well on this, but I would just use something like a Triple Flex, Sure Start, or any product that contains balance like Corvus. Post-emerge, I like Status the best, but any of the HPPDs, Callisto, Lattus, Impact, Armazon are going to work well. In soybeans, I like first rate post emerge, but don't use it pre. I'd use something with Sencor in it pre emerge. That's going to be your best choice. Okay, and how about in wheat? In wheat, I like Husky post emerge. I like Sharp and pre. All right, well, that's it for our weed, Marsh Elder, but stay tuned. Iron Talk is coming up next.